What up guys, Nothing Dot Man here playing Tekken on the mobile. Now, I wanna get I wanna give you guys a quick rundown of this game. I've been playing it for a while, I can see I'm on 32, I'm on 33. Um, but this is a game that I actually really enjoy. Um, and they haven't got online for it yet, but I'm hoping they do. But let's quickly do a quick rundown of this game. And if you like it, download it. Because when they do have online, it be very beneficial when you're on higher ranks to look at your stuff and then you can start playing busting people up. So, first things first, we have the main home screen. On the home screen, you have all these different things like Dojo, uh, Vault, which I'll go through a bit further a bit later. Then you have the daily reward of logins. Now, in this game, if you want to create a character or unlock a character, you normally get an icon like this and then the, the characters go by rank. Uh, by Tier, so tier 1 star, 2 all the way up to 4. So, for instance, let's go to my final now. It's going to be a quick rundown. So, as you can see, I've got Akuma, uh, Bruce, Lily, all these like, two tier characters, and then you've got the one tier. The difference between the one, two, three, four is the one and two, I believe, is just their normal costumes. Powerful, but not powerful enough, because with tier 1s, they only go up to level 15, so let me show you a character that's already maxed out to level 15. At the moment it loads. Uh, so as you can see, Lily is level 15 at the moment, max level. She's an alternative costume, and then you've got the tier 2 Lily. Also level 15, but goes up to level 30. Um, and there's quite a lot of uh, customization in this, in this game, so you have skills that you can unlock as well. How do, how do you unlock skills? Just when you do in battle, or when you unlock a fragment for that character that you already unlock. So normally to unlock a character, let's scroll right down to the bottom, you need to unlock 10 fragments for that character before you unlock them in the game. Or you can, as I showed you before, get an icon that has a picture of a fighter, guaranteed unlock, and you can just unlock it that way. But for instance, if when you unlock a fragment for a character you already have unlocked, Go ahead and redeem, and what that will do, that will give you new fighting moves as well as the craft to basically, yeah, so this one right here, this allows you to craft moves. Uh, you have three to four different type of moves depending on who we're talking about, maybe up to five. First of all, you've got the launches, which are red, then you have the combos, which are green, then right here we have... For instance, this this move is a stun move, and I believe all of these moves have one like one plus of armor. So if someone's just throwing out jabs at you, you can hit that. That will go through that and start and literally just pass through. Then you've got the guard breaks, which, as you can tell, breaks your opponent's guards. Now, for an opponent like say Akuma, his his move sets might be a little bit different. Let's quickly go show you. So he actually has these purple ones on here. And these are obviously the Street Fighter counterpart moves. I haven't fully understood how these things work properly, but you know, I'm just taking it up to this level I have. Uh, and then we go for someone like Bruce or King. These characters also have grab moves, so these are the ones in like pink. So these grab moves are extremely powerful and they will kind of do like a little duck and then grab. So if you play Tekken before, uh, at all on any console doing a grab, like a command grab, then that's the kind of input you get. Um, but yeah, that's the basics of the character. Oh, one other thing before I go back is all characters have at least um, have one type. All characters have a type. So you got fire, then you've got electricity, you've got grass, I mean water, and then grass. So they all kind of um, correspond in terms of if you're facing someone that say, say I'm a, a leaf and the other person's fire, they have a, an element boost. So that element boost would be about 20% and generally that is a big thing when you're going up against someone because when you have that extra boost it does help. And then we kind of make our way down to fight. So in terms of what they have available right now is they have story arc which it's quite cool. They've actually, I think every month they have a new featured art. So last month it was Lee Chalon, Lee, and now it's Akuma, because he's just newly into the game. So these arts kind of happen in a way where 
I don't want to go too far into this hole, but I'm kind of committed to that. Ah, whatever. Do it anyway. So for instance, as simple as that, you fight one character, you fight two, you fight three, and then you go straight on to the boss. And with the boss, you get a fragment from them. So if you do, if you complete that, you manage to do level one, let's just abandon that now. So you can see we've got easy, hard, and the reason why it says explored because there's different routes you can take, so obviously that'd be in the first level. If you go to someone like Ling Xiaoyu, then you have a bit more of an open, different direction or different path you can choose. So if you go left, you could do that again, go right, get that again and actually fully 100% have completed that part, that section. In these games, you normally have three fights, fighters, and you can just kind of switch between them. Although, in story mode, once all your characters are dead, then that's it. But it's literally just doing one arc at a time. You can revive them and use potions. Then you've got Dojo. Dojo is quite an interesting thing because it goes in seasons. So every month it changes. And at the end of the month, depending on your ranking. So right now, you can see I'm Challenger 3. So you've got zero, which is unranked, you've got challenger one, challenger two, challenger three. At the end of each season you get a new reward. Uh, reward. So whether that be one box, which could possibly get your character a fragment for a character that you need. Uh, so this is what I'm on, this is after what, 11 days. Uh, I haven't really flagged the game too much, but I've played it. I've played it every day or so. And obviously the rewards get a lot better depending on how far you go. I don't know, I, I don't think poss it's possible for me to get to Grand Champion. I have to take a month off work and literally just play this game all the time. Um, one other thing I've noticed about the game is... So, let's kind of carry on with this section. So with this section, as you can see, it says Tier 1, Tier 2. And I can change that by going to say a weak character and going to Tier 1. What this does is the reward that you get from each battle gives you kind of gives you a uh, better reward depending on the tier you're going for, but the characters that you play are harder. So, for instance, let's just quickly bring back a crew let's just bring up my strongest team to this, to this. So, you can actually hit tier 3, I've actually hit tier 3 before, I think I've got to switch out. Uh, uh -huh. Boom, we're on tier 3 now. I'm, I'm not too sure how many tiers it goes up to, but I guess it might go all the way up to maybe tier 4 or 5. So, if we begin this, we're kind of locked in to doing this. So let's quickly go through the healing section. So you see you've got your team heals, you've got uh, normal heals, what about there? You've got boosts, which are quite good. So now like for instance, this gives you an extra 35% element damage. It's only meant to be for 15 minutes, but I don't know if there seems to be a glitch in the game where if you have one of these, it permanently stays on. But you can only have one at a time at the same time, so it kind of works out like that. So your double XP, you've got cooldown on these cards. And right now, then you have an option of going for one of these players. You have small, large, for some reason I'm just getting a small and large, but you can get massive, huge. And also in this section, what you do is you place your, your fighters there, and they can defend. So the amount of wins you get also kind of helps you boost the far up. Uh, I haven't got a win as you can see, because I'm unsure about how to do that, but once I find out, I'll let you guys know. So right now I've just claimed my key, and what that key is for is when you go to the dojo, because when you, want, when you win a chest, chest comes here and there normally is a wait a cooldown time so normally the cooldown time would be about two hours if you've got a large maybe an hour if you've got a small if you've lost your two out of three battles then you get a partition you get a competitor's chest i guess and that kind of gives you five minutes to unlock but still depending on the tier you've got level three level one level two that's to kind of that, open up that specific chest then you have lab events, which can be quite good if you want to grind out and get some some stuff, I guess, I could say. So, for this instance, this is Kuma level uh, level four, 3, and what happens is you kind of just keep battling, keep battling, keep battling until their health bar, or you can see that boss damage goes all the way up. So, you, yeah, it, it, it has a time limit, I think it's 60 seconds, so you have a minute just to bust them up until to get bust up yourself. Um, and then you've still, you've, you've also got a king, which you know, it does go on for a while, this, this is, I've just kind of scratched the surface. Normally you would actually have, every day they do bring up ones where you can unlock one level one character and then a box, which I've already done those, but just, just, 
Uh, so that's why the event's kind of based down. And then you've got local versus, which again, you need to have a friend as a game, but the game is free. Free to play, of course. Now let's quickly go down to the store, because this is like the highlight of, you know, any free to play game. The store, the microtransactions. So you have featured items on here. So you can see this costs 300 and you get a ch chest and then they can lots of characters, some packs, some premium coins, the coins you can buy from there as well. It goes all up to 80 pounds, which is quite a lot. Uh, but you know, over time you can get this stuff. In this game, in any free to game, play game, there should be an option to obviously obtain it from grinding, obtain things from grinding, which you can in this game, which is quite good in that aspect. Uh, so you can just, oh, Lily's on there now. Woo! Eight hours. Damn. And it's a good thing because like, you can go to the store and for a limited time they bring up a premium pack just for that specific character. So you're more likely to unlock content for that character. So for instance, we're on Lily's Ultimate Bundle. That costs a thousand. So that actually costs 10,000 gems. Let's quickly go back and see how much 10,000 gems cost. There you go. That's a bit insane. You know, the prices for this. Tokens are very quite easy, quite easy to obtain. But the specific characters like for these events, tokens, you need 10 of those, which, you know, they're selling them in the store for free 99 So it is a bit much. Um, but again, there are, there are ways to unlock them is quite grindy in that sense, so then you just pay where it's just like you can buy packs, the money that you've got in store, and then bundles, make a lot of characters, and the gems. Um, fitting up to here to the achievements, so this just shows you what you've done so you can claim some some points. And then this is just basically complete the game on hard level, and this so and so. So for instance also, you can uh, Unlock a fragment if you win with Zenina a thousand times. You unlock a level 3 fragment, which is quite a lot to do. Um, yeah, it just kind of goes on from there. So it's just, it is, it is a very, very grindy game. What I'll quickly do is, I guess I'll quickly show you a battle. So, let's just do one quick battle. I've already started a game with a uh, committed to this. So for instance, now you can see it, I need to heal my characters because they're a bit plus up. So team heal, boom! Hopefully that's enough. So basically in this, in dojo mode, you need to win two out of three matches. To unlock that, that specific chest that you want. So you can also change your deck in-game, you know, have it kind of customised for how you want it to play. But as you can see, I've already got the element damage on Akuma. I've got all the three characters on there. And it's going to basically be... I'm going to have an advantage. But as you can see, on, underneath where it says Versus, it kind of lets you know that, that who, which player has the advantage. So as this is level 2, it's maxed out to level... Um, tier 2, but it's maxed out to level 30. So for level 30 for tier 2, it's high. That's why he played uh, 4,700. Um, so he should be, he should be quite a close game. Yeah. Let's see if he's gonna win this. 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 If you press the button, press the camera, you can do a launch move. KO. You win. So that was quite an easy game. And let's see if I'm gonna level up probably in the next game or level up, and I'll show you what the level up looks like. So of course let's use Lily. Because Lily is one of my favourite characters in this game. Get ready for the next well, battle. She's my favourite character in Tekken, but she's not my favourite in this game. She's not as good as some of the other characters. They're blocking too much. Break their guard. See that? I had an armor there. Sometimes moves can cancel each other out. Like in second. And if someone's blocking too much, what you can do is you can. Oh. 
press that. She'll dash at them. Oh, my break. Oh, my break. That you can kind of add the to see what kind of damage that you can get. But you win. That was the quick rundown. I kind of wanted to give you about tech and mobile. Uh, we're gonna see a lot of rank up as well. Boom. And we've got a chest. Uh, actually, let's show you what it looks like to open up a chest. Because look, there's a three hour wait on there. Uh, we ain't got time for that. You can either use gems, which obviously you have to pay for, or you can just. So we've got three items there, says so at the top left, so it's not the best. No fragment, but you've got the silver challenge tokens. The silver challenge tokens, you got bronze, silver, I think gold and platinum. And those are just to fight the people, uh, some characters in live events. So some characters require you to have tokens to fight them. So now that I've, uh, I've ranked up as well, so I'll go back to the home page. Boom, rank up, little corner up here. This is just letting you know that you have got a rank up reward. So let's click on that. Claim. So it gives you gems as well as pill packs and money. Which money can be very, very, uh, very good in this game. Because the only thing you would use money for in this game is just the bug packs. That is the only one. And I guess if you're doing live dojo, um, you have an option of changing the kind of people you want to face against. So if, you, if it comes up in your life, pay a thousand change. And let's just open up one more. You tend to get better things like this. Look at that, a greater healing uh, potion. That is four stars, it's a four tier one. Fragment. I think I've got all the fragment for level one, so again, if you really have the fragment for that character, you unlock them and a move for them. So level two. Lily, so I've got a new move for Lily. Another level two, this is okay. So Shaheen. And a fragment. So if you get a fragment like this, this is normally customization. So you can get glasses, whatnot, but let's have a look and see what I've got. Just some glasses. But again, even with the customization or fragments, you still have to get ten. You can kind of have an overview of what you have here. But that was a quick, quick rundown of this game. I just wanted to show you. Oh, well, you got your bounties here as well. You can just add the bounties or something you can get, you know, coins or stuff like that. But yeah, I just wanted to give you a quick rundown of tech and mobile. Any questions, put that in a comment. Maybe I might make a second video. Um, yeah, maybe I might do a playthrough. I don't know. But if you enjoyed the video, like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out. Peace.